Hello, everybody, and welcome back. The Paycheck Protection Program will face some big changes in the upcoming days here. As we pay close attention to Congress, we're going to want to see if they vote to move the deadline extension for the applications with the SBA. However, there is one big change that all of my viewers are asking for that they have refused to either address or they're just not hearing us yet, okay? And that is, what about all the filers who filed with net income prior to the rule change announced by President Biden back in end of February, early March, that they can now use gross income. The rule currently today is there's nothing you can do about to go back and change that retroactively. So Congress, listen up. Today is March the 16th. Happy Tuesday, everybody. This is your afternoon report here on the East Coast. I hope everybody's having a great start to their week. This is your daily stimulus report on your first, second, and your third stimulus check. We're going to zoom in on Paycheck Protection Program and Retroactive. Let's get into the news. Hello, everybody, and welcome back. I'm Edward Builder. To all my loyal subscribers out there, welcome back for another video. And if you are joining us for the first time today, welcome. Consider becoming a subscriber. We're going to dive straight into PPP on this one. This is going to be a big episode because, yes, there is the possibility of a deadline extension, but we also want Congress to hear us when we talk about retro and talk about switching our net to our gross, okay? We're gonna get into some big topics here. And this is probably one of the best videos that if you uh, know somebody that filed for the Paycheck Protection Program, this is gonna be one that you wanna share, okay? We're gonna give you guys something that uh, we're gonna ask you to do for us later in the video. Uh, so the new proposal for the deadline extension, this will be voted on by Congress here. It has bipartisan support from both the Senate and the House and is highly plausible that we could see this deadline extended to May 31st to file applications. Now the current deadline, I don't want any confusion. The current deadline is March 31st. So if you haven't filed yet, get out there, don't wait, get out there and file, okay? But for everybody who doesn't make the cutoff, they are looking to extend this to May 31st and have 30 extra days for the SBA to process loan applications. So the deadline will end for the submittal on May 31st in the new proposed bill and give the SBA up until June 30th to process any applications that are in the queue so it doesn't leave anybody out there in limbo, okay? Now, what's not being talked about in Congress and what's not being talked about in any news articles but being talked about plenty right here on this channel is what about everybody who received their draw number one and their draw number two prior to, say, March 1st, applying with their net income on their Schedule C and are now being told that there's nothing they could do to adjust that retroactively to get the full, the full benefit of this off of line seven for your gross income as it was announced by President Biden, right? So what can you do to help move this along and get the attention of Congress? Let's find out. So just looking at the numbers, this could possibly affect 4.5 million individuals out there who filed as a sole proprietor in draw one and draw two from the CARES Act and the New Relief Act that this could affect because they filed under net, okay? If we just took some basic numbers and we took it by the percentage of, of who filed with Schedule C, that number comes out to about approximately 4.5 million people that are affected by this, that are stuck getting only their net income when now they're eligible for their gross income and currently the rule says you can't change it, right? So you have all asked me to make videos on this so we could tag our congressmen and our congresswomen uh, to amend this unfair ruling by the SBA. Viewers like Lenny Sanchez, Mike Stubbs, Denny Valerio, the Himalayan Yeti asks, SBA needs to adjust the net to gross, letting us go back and change it before March 1st. Michael Childress, super frustrating, filed for net income and can't go back, okay? <laughs> Look, everybody start putting your comments inside these videos. We need real voices from real people to spread this message around. So here's what you all can do. Support your fellow sole proprietors and business owners filing Schedule C who applied for Paycheck Protection Program using their net and copy and paste this in your Facebook or your Twitter to two people, okay? In hopes that they will paste it to two people, in hopes that they will paste it to two people, and we could spread this message, okay? And use your comments to express that you got draw one, got draw two, you're in net, and let us know that you're frustrated and you wanna change. We need millions of you to tag people like Ben Carter, Nydia Velazquez, Blaine Lukenmeyer, Carolyn Bordeaux, okay? We need these people. These are the small business committee in the House and in the Senate. We need them all to understand our frustration so that they can make a difference for us. We're gonna start hashtag retro PPP. It'll be tagged in the uh, beginning of this description. 
tag it in your Twitter, put it in your Twitter, put it in all your messages and spread this word around, okay? And each day we're gonna come back on here, read some of your comments, voice some of your concerns and keep the message moving to more and more people, okay? So we have a long journey ahead of us, okay? And it's not gonna happen quickly. So let's start spreading the message today. Remember, leaving a comment enrolls you into my next giveaway because when we hit 20,000 subscribers, we're giving away to one lucky subscriber $500 to a lucky comment that we randomly choose from down below, okay? So comment in all the videos, and if you need help figuring out what to comment, let us know where you are in the PPP process. If you got draw one, draw two, where you applied, if they allowed you to use gross, so we can help out all the viewers on this channel. So everybody, the next step is up to you, okay? Take some of the stimulus money and get out there and start changing your future, right? You can start opening and investing into new businesses, I'm constantly looking for partners in my short-term rental businesses, my B&B. So if you want to talk about that, you can find me in the description on Instagram or get out there and start investing. Right now in the description, you can check out Webull or BlockFi. Webull wants to give you two free stocks valued up to about $2,800 after you deposit $100 into the platform. They just upgraded this again, okay? And some people are winning some Google stocks, pretty awesome. Or BlockFi, uh, depositing anywhere between $50 and $250 to secure your cryptocurrency can earn you about 8.6%. That is huge. <laughs> I use both of these platforms each and every day. Weeble has some pretty interesting games you can play. Like, check this out. You go and get to spin this wheel right here. And all I did was invited friends in the game a chance to spin the wheel. And look at that. I just won free stocks. And the other day, I won this. $262 worth of free Facebook stocks. Pretty awesome stuff. Weeble's trying to support building a portfolio for you, okay? So I think they do a great job at doing that. And please stop by the channel and check out some of our other videos. We have some big videos on EIDL, a lot of glitches out there that are occurring with the SBA. And we post an AM and a PM recap on everything stimulus related. Sometimes it includes some big updates on PPP, EIDL. Sometimes it's child tax credits, unemployment slumped in there. And of course, your stimulus checks of $1,400. So you can check out all my videos here. I do my best to get you guys an AM recap and a PM recap, okay, so that you know exactly where you are in the world of stimulus, all right? <laughs> there are some very big deadlines coming up here with many of these programs, okay? So stay with the channel so you can get all of your updates and you don't miss something. A lot of events will be happening in Congress over the next two weeks on the Paycheck Protection Program and, of course, the repair of many of these glitches that are happening with the targeted advanced grants and the new guidelines are coming out. There's so much to talk about in the world of stimulus and I don't want you to miss something. So stay with us here on the channel. Again, you could find me in the description if you want to follow me on Instagram. Don't follow anybody else on this channel. I'm surprised I have to keep announcing this, but every time I read the comments, there's always somebody answering somebody that's asking them to go to WhatsApp or meet them on Instagram or cloning my face and putting a fake phone, <laughs> fake phone number there, okay? Don't call any of those numbers. They want to scam you, okay? So just don't trust some of those comments. <laughs> I thank you all again, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.